So in this video, I'm going to show how to use this contour map and MATLAB to determine the depth of each grid block in our reservoir. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have all four files that are required. So grab it, res underscore extrapolation, reservoir underscore script, and reservoir underscore shape. Next, we're going to open MATLAB, and then we're going to open all four files so grab it um, we're also going to open res underscore extrapolation we're also going to open reservoir underscore script and then we're also going to open reservoir underscore shape the first file i'm going to show you is reservoir underscore shape this function basically takes points on the edges of our reservoir and uses those points to determine the shape of the reservoir. The next one is res underscore extrapolation. This basically takes points on contours and then extrapolates to parts of the reservoir that don't have contours. And then reservoir underscore script is just the main script that's going to call reservoir underscore shape and res underscore extrapolation. So basically, in reservoir underscore script, we're gonna we're gonna um, impute the coordinates of points on the edges of the reservoir, and then we are also gonna impute the coordinates of points on our contours. And then this script is gonna is gonna use our two functions: reservoir underscore shape and res underscore extrapolation to determine the depth of each grid block in our reservoir. In order to define the coordinates of points on the edges of our reservoir, we're going to use a handy MATLAB tool called Gravit. So now I'm going to open Gravit. It's basically a function file that you can run. So I'm going to click on Run. And then this screen comes up. The first thing you need to do on this screen is to load image. So you click on load image. Uh, you search for your contour plot. I think mine is under. Uh, yeah, this is mine. So you load your contour plot. The next thing you need to do is you need to calibrate. So you want to tell MATLAB what direction your x-axis is in. You want to tell uh, MATLAB the scale of your x and the scale of your y-axis as well. So I'm going to click on Calibrate. And then MATLAB is asking for the origin of x-axis. Basically, in order for it to be able to determine the, um, the distance between points, so my origin is going to be somewhere around here for my x-axis. But since there's no, since the reservoir doesn't extend to this portion of our plot, I'm going to say my origin is right here. And then instead of, and then the next thing it's asking for is to enter a value, so an x value for this point. So even though it's asking for the origin, we can just um, say the origin is here. And instead of entering 0, I'm going to enter um, the x coordinate of this point, which is going to be um, if it block is 523 feet. So this coordinate is going to be 523 times times 7.5 so 523 times 7.5 is 3922.5 3922.5 and the way I got my 7.5 is I just counted from I just counted uh, grid blocks from the beginning of the reservoir so basically, from the actual origin of the reservoir. Uh, 
and then after you enter the coordinate of that point, you click enter. Next, it's, it's asking for the maximum value of our x-axis. So again, I'm going to say it's right here. And then the value for that point is going to be 11.5 times 523. Again, 11.5 is just, um, there's 11.5 blocks between the origin and that point. And 523 is the is the uh, length of each block. So 6014.5 Again, I'm going to click enter. Next, it's asking for the origin of y axis. I'm going to say I'm going to use again I'm going to use this point right here. And since it's just one block from the origin, I'm going to say it's 523 and then I click enter. Next it's asking for the maximum value of y. Obviously that's going to be all the way down here, but instead of going all the way, I can just use this point so as basically, it doesn't matter um, what two points you pick, as long as those two points lie on a straight line. So I'm going to say this is the maximum of my y-axis. And the value at that point is going to be 523, 523 times 3, which is 1569. I'm going to click Enter. So now I'm done uh, with my calibration. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab points at the vertices at each vertice of the reservoir. So basically, that's how uh, MATLAB is going to define the reservoir shape. So I'm going to click on Grab Points, and then I'm going to go around the reservoir and click on every edge of the reservoir. So that's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then I'm going to go back to the, to the point that I started from and click on that point again. So that's 19, 19 points. When I'm done grabbing all my points, I'm going to click Enter. Matter has created um, a set of data points corresponding to the coordinates of the points that I just um, grabbed on my contour map. So to view those points, I'm going to click on I'm going to click on this um, data 001. Actually, I'm, I'm going to rename it first, so I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to click on Rename. And I'm going to call it Reservoir underscore Edges, and then OK. Next, I'm going to select those, I mean select that. And then, so basically, these are the coordinates of each edge of the reservoir. And then if you notice some points are negative, those points that are negative, I'm just going to change them to zero. Because obviously they don't exist. Or I mean, they were supposed to be zero, but my, my I didn't calibrate as good as I should have.
I think that's it. Yes, that's it. And then you can save. Or never mind. You can minimize that. So now that we have the edges of our reservoir, we're going to grab points on each of the contours. There's the same process. You click on grab points. We're going to start with the 6600 contour. So you basically just grab points along that contour. You want to make them close as close as possible, but not too close. And then when you're done um, grabbing points, you click enter. And now we can we can rename that as 6600. Then okay. Next, we're gonna grab points on the 6800 contour. Click on grab points. Go to 6800. Repeat the same process all the way to the from edge to edge. So 6800. I think this point is kind of off, so I'm gonna click on backspace to take up that point and grab again. When I'm done grabbing, click on enter, and then I can rename that to 6800. Okay. Next, I'm going to grab points again for the uh, 7000 contour. The same process, go from edge to edge. Uh, just click on points all the way to the end. Click on enter. Um, rename that to 7000. And then OK. And then now I'm going to go a little bit faster. So grab points again. 7200 just. Pick a couple of points going from one side of the reservoir to the other side. And then click on enter. We can rename that to 7200. I just noticed that my that my points haven't been re, been renamed, so, so I'm gonna try again. Rename this was the six hundred. Okay, so it's not renaming, but um, we can just uh, note that uh, 001 is 6600, 002 is 6800, 003 is 7000, and so on and so, so forth. Next, we're going to grab points on the 7400 contour. Same process, go from one edge of the reservoir to the other edge, grabbing points. And then, when you're done, you click Enter. And I'm trying to rename again and see if it works. 7400. OK. No. OK. So now we're going to um, click on Data 001. You double click. 
and then basically these are the coordinates of points on the 6600 contour line so I'm just gonna make a new column column 3 and I'm just gonna enter 6600 so basically it's like column 1 is X column 2 is Y and column 3 is depth so 6600 600 um, and don't forget to check for zero for negative numbers and change them to zeros next I'm gonna go back to grab it so I'm gonna click on data 002 and make this 6800 To make it easy, I'm just gonna copy and paste. I'm just trying to take away this row, so delete, yes. And then I'm going to go back to grab it. I'm going to just take the points for 7,000. I'm just going to enter 7,000. Then I'm just going to copy and paste to make it quicker. Control C, Control V, 7,000. 7,000 7, Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for 7,200 So there's a negative number right here which I'm going to change to 0 and then on this side I'm just going to enter 7,000 um, 70,000 mistake 7200 okay and then the last set of points is going to be 7400 so you open that Again, there's a negative number which I'm going to change to zero, and then 7400. Control C, Control V, 7400. Okay, now the next step is we're going to combine all our um, X, Y, and, and depth into one table. So I'm going to copy and paste from all my tables to form one table. So Ctrl C for 6800. I'm going to paste it right under the coordinates for 6600. I'm going to do the same thing for 7000. Copy to see and then I'm going to paste it right under 6800 the same for 7200 copy and then paste under 7000 the same thing for 7400 copy and then paste under 7200 Okay, so now we have um, the data points that we're going to use in our script. Basically, this is a table of X, Y, and depth values on our contours. And then reservoir underscore edges has the X and Y coordinates of the edges of our reservoir. So I'm going to go back to reservoir underscore script. Reservoir underscore script. Basically, this uh, script file 
needs us to enter to enter the number of um, grid blocks we have in our in the x and in the y direction. It's also going to need the maximum length and width of the reservoir. It's going to need the um, coordinates of the uh, vertices of our reservoir. And it's also going to need the coordinates of sample points. So basically, that's the coordinates of points on our contour map. So that's x coordinates, y coordinates, and then z is the depth. So for our NX, I'm going to enter uh, 54 because we have 54 grid blocks in the X direction. For NY, I'm going to enter 22 because we have 22 grid blocks in the Y direction. For, for X max, I'm going to enter um, I think it's I think it's 54 times 130.75, which is 7 7060.5, and then our y max, which is the width of the reservoir, is just going to be 22 times times the y, which is 261.5 which is 5753 and then for the x coordinates of vertices of corners of the reservoir I'm going to go to I'm going to go back to my table I'm going to copy my x row and just and I'm just going to paste that right here okay I'm gonna do the same thing for Y I'm gonna go back to my I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to my table I'm going to copy the column for Y. And I'm going to paste that just like we did for X. So Control V. Same thing. And then now for X underscore sampling, coordinates of sample points, I'm going to go back to my table. I'm going to copy my X column. So basically highlights the X column. I'm going to copy that and paste it under X sampling. I'm going to do the same thing for Y as well. He highlights the Y column, copy, and then paste as well. Same thing for Z. Z is basically depth. So I'm going to go to back to my table, select my depth. copy and then paste so now we have all the inputs we need you can save and then run Okay, so after after running, you can go to your you can go to your MATLAB command window, 
and then you just call sampling underscore plot or actually you just call sampling and this is a table of the depth of each grid block in our reservoir so our reservoir has um, 11 88 um, grid blocks in each layer so we should have 11 88 rows and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we do have 1188 rows. Yeah, so this is how you determine the depth of each grid block top layer of our reservoir. And then you can copy, you can copy and paste this in an Excel file to use later. So I'm gonna just paste this right here and that's it